Hey guys, it's JeffForce Gemini 360 here, and you are now looking at the title screen of Tales of Symphonia. Probably one of the best games for the GameCube, and I'm going to go ahead and say the best RPG for the GameCube. Um, it's not a typical RPG. I'll show you as soon as we get in the game. Um, but this game is just so utterly amazing, and the whole fan for franchise, franchise, <laughs> franchise of Tales of games, Tales of Abyss, Tales of uh, Eternity, all those games are all amazing RPGs. They play about the same, but they're still all so amazing. And this journey is going to be a long one. It's definitely going to be long and arduous. But I'm going to take you, my subscribers, and even if you're not a subscriber, if you're a viewer, I'm going to take you on this epic journey that is Tales of Symphonia. Let's start a new game. Once upon a time, there existed a giant tree that was the source of mana. A war, however, caused this tree to wither away, and a hero's life was sacrificed in order to take its place. Grieving over the loss, the goddess disappeared unto the heavens. The goddess left the angels with this edict. You must wake me, for if I should sleep, the world shall be destroyed. The angels bore the Chosen One, who headed towards the tower that reached up unto the heavens. And that marked the beginning of the regeneration. Ah! Ugh. How do you manage to sleep standing? Oh, Professor Rain, it, is class over? <sighs> Never mind. Let's have someone else answer the questions. Genus, how about you? Yes, Rain. Mythos the hero brought about the end of the ancient war in the holy ground of Carlon. Correct. Afterwards, Mythos the hero formed a pact with the goddess Martell to seal away the Desions whom caused the war. But the Desions came back and are now causing everyone to suffer. We covered that in class last time, remember? When the seal weakens, the Desions reappear, just like they have. Oops, I, uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I knew that. I, I just forgot. Today is the day of prophecy. It is a very important day, which the Chosen of Mana will receive an oracle from the goddess. Now Chosen One, Colette. Oops. Yes, ma'am? Tell us about the this. journey of world regeneration. It is a journey to seal the designs. Upon passing the trials of the goddess Martell, the summon spirits that protect the world awaken, and mana is restored. Correct. I suppose we should expect the Chosen herself to know the answer to that one. Mana depletion is the cause of the current food shortages and droughts. It is said that this occurs because the Desions consume vast amounts of mana in their human ranches. The Chosen's journey has two purposes to revive mana, as well as defeat the designs. Now, for the next question. Uh, what was that? That's... Settle down. It would seem that the time for the Oracle has come. I will go and check on the chapel. Everyone stay here and study on your own. Understood? Professor! I'll go with... No, Colette. If it is the Oracle, the priests will come here for you. Wait here with everyone else. Yes, ma'am. 
Alright, so now we have control of Lloyd. Um, before I actually talk to anybody, I'm just going to say that, uh, the character development in this game gets really super interesting. Like, just now it was kind of bland, but you could see that Lloyd was our typical RPG hero. Um, he kind of slacks off, he's, uh, not very good at school, it looks like. Um, and he was standing there with buckets, and that, that is Professor Rain's punishment for Lloyd. Uh, every time he gets in trouble in class, he has to stand there with two buckets of water, but he's learned to sleep like that, so... That's pretty impressive, uh, I guess. So we're gonna go to our menu here. I'm gonna show you a few things. Um, tech is for combat. Uh, only thing we have is Demon Fang. Uh, I'll show those more once we get into the combat. Items, um, apple gel, orange gel, life bottles, I'll get more into that, but these are, these are your item menu. Uh, you attacks and EX's skill, we can't you know, look at that yet, but strategy is um, how people move in battle. We can get into that later, too. Equipment, of course, is equipment. We have wooden blade and soft leather. Status, here's what I'm looking for. It uh, shows the characters that we have, a nice artwork, and then a little icon. And then down here, if you go down from their, their thing here, look at the cursor, um, you can select titles. And down at the bottom, I have the description of the title. And when you level up, they'll give you certain stats. So if you want certain extra stats, you give them a certain title that gives those stats. Titles, certain titles give more stats than others when you level up, but... It's just an extra bonus for you to uh, design your character with. So now that we've looked at that, we can go into cooking. Currently, Lloyd is our only party member, so he's the one cooking. Uh, and he only knows how to cook a sandwich. We can't even cook a sandwich yet, so that doesn't matter. Synopsis is I'll see right now. It's uh, not we're not gonna be using it at all. It just it's like a journal, I guess, like in Kingdom Hearts. And then down here we have system, and you can save and load and customize. Customizes options. And I've already done all that. So now let's uh, start talking to everybody. Yeah, yeah. Why do you keep sticking your nose in things, Lloyd? Oh ho! Yeah, what's that supposed to mean, lady? I wonder if that light had something to do with the oracle. Well, Rain just said it did, so I mean... The professor seemed kind of nervous. Yeah, she did. You little kid, I haven't talked to you ever, I don't think. Study on your own, huh? That's basically like telling us to go play. <laughs> I'm gonna talk to Genius. During class, Rain said that when the oracle comes, the Crucius Crystal enshrined in the altar shines. So the light must have been emitted by the Crucius Crystal at the temple. That's true. And Colette, that light was so pretty. <laughs> That's all she can say. That's all the Chosen can say. Woman, a few words, I guess. Lloyd, where are you going? Don't tell me you're sneaking out. Rain will get mad. I'm really curious to find out what really happens to Colette when she receives the Oracle. They always talk about the Chosen Regeneration and the Day of Prophecy, but no one tells us what really happens. But my sister said to stay and study by ourselves. It's research. <laughs> That's just an excuse. Okay, so the I just selected it's just research just to kind of show you. That was actually the wrong answer. Um, you're, supposed to look, you're supposed to pick, okay, fine, and then you get an intimacy point with the gen, uh, genus. And we'll get into more of that later. But every choice you make counts. And um, I will try to show you my... Or I'll try to try my best. Try to try. That's... Nah, it's like a double negative, I guess. But <laughs> I will sh try my best to show you the, uh, the best things to say. So, an excuse is an excuse, right? Don't be stuffy. You're coming too, right? We're best friends, after all. Colette, wanna come along too? Huh? Um, okay. <laughs> oh, Colette. So where to? Where else? That light! You're directly involved in all of this. Aren't you curious? Hmm, are you curious about it? Of course! Okay, then I'll be curious about it too. <laughs> oh, Colette. See? Dwarven Vow number four. Don't depend on others. Walk on your own two legs. Okay then, let's go to the temple. <laughs> Not the Dwarven Vows again. You always use those when you need an excuse. Yes, he does. And I know all of the Dwarven Vows, and I will be saying them throughout the Let's Play. So... 
That's good to know. So yeah, they joined our party. Now we can go to our party menu. Look, we have more people. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and go to their... S Let's go cooking. You can look at their cooking skills. Uh, Lloyd and Colette are the same, but Genus is a master cooker. Look at that. He is gonna be our cooker full-time in this Let's Play forever and ever and ever. Now we can go to synopsis. And uh, that's pretty much what it looks like, and it just tells us what happened. Whoa. Okay, so it does have the date, so if I ever go there again, you guys know exactly what's going on. So let's go to status and show Colette off. These are her stats. Colette is the Chosen of Regeneration. Uh, supposedly her father's an angel. And she grew up with Lloyd and Genus here in, in this city. Even though Lloyd doesn't live here. I should go ahead and get into that too, I guess. Lloyd lives outside the city. We'll see in a minute. But, so they've been friends for a while, and she uh, is really attached to both of them, and especially Lloyd, we'll see here pretty soon. Especially in that comment when she said, um, if you're curious, I'll be curious about it too. That's kind of how she is with Lloyd, so. Next is Genus Sage, and he is Rain's little brother, Professor Rain's little brother. Um, these are his stats. He's Lloyd's absolute best friend. They've been friends since I think Genus has gotten there. Um, and they hang out all the time, and he's an awesome cook. That's really all I need to know about him at the moment, so, yeah. Now, if you go over here, you can only do this now. If you go over here and you talk, or you examine this with them and your party. <clears throat> when did this hole get here? Have you forgotten, Lloyd? This happened with Colette. It was during last year's spring cleaning. I was mopping and then accidentally... You're such a klutz, Colette. Let obtain the title of Klutz. So actually, now we can go into our status. I'm going to show you what those title things are. We're going to go down to the Fledgling Chosen. And now we can select Klutz. And that gives HP, Strength, and Accuracy. And we're going to give that to her because why not? She could use it. So that's the only time in the game you can get that. I believe maybe you can get it later. But that's pretty much it. And so when we step out here, um, I guess we don't get a skit. But now we're going to head out of the school. What's going on? It's awfully quiet. Where did everyone go? Colette! Father! Frank! Thank goodness you're safe. Frank, what happened to everyone in the village? They're all hiding. The designs invaded the village just a short while ago. Thankfully, no one was hurt. They passed through the village and headed for the temple. <clears throat> Why? Iselli has a non-aggression treaty with the Designs. You mean that the agreement where they don't attack the village as long as we leave the human ranch alone? Yes. My grandmother said it's to protect me. Oh, where's grandmother? Phydra is in the temple preparing for the ritual. Phydra's in the temple? But that's where the Designs... The priests are there with her. There's no need to worry. Now Colette. I know. I promise to fulfill my duty as the Chosen. Good luck, Colette. Lloyd. Genus. You two should go on home. I'm worried about letting Colette go by herself. I'll go with her to the temple. Me too. But, all right. Thank you. I'll wait at the house. Come back immediately if anything happens. And welcome to the village of oracles, Zelia. And now you see that little Z button down the bottom? That's a skit. We can click Z and now we have a skit. I wonder if Rain is going to be mad at us. Don't worry. All we have to do is get back to class before she does. But wasn't the Professor Rain going to the temple too? What if we run into her? Ah, ha, ha, ha. We'll be fine. Probably. And so this... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say this is a memory circle. You can save your game here. Just press A. Um, I'm going to go ahead and save. That's my practice file. Don't look at it. It's pitiful. Um, and we're already 14 minutes into this video. I really would like to go on. Uh, I guess I am, actually. Um, whoa! It's a monster! I thought the northern region where the temple is located was a sanctuary. Gosh darn, I can't stop now. Why are there? It must be part of the trial. Martel's trial involves battling monsters. We don't have, to time we don't have time to talk. Let's get this thing. Roger. Okay, so this is our first instance of combat. Let's get this you can move left and right to see an enemy. Uh, pretty much, you have medium attacks, you have low attacks, and you have up attacks. Um, that's all I can show you in that battle, but... 
later on I'll show you more. Um, so you get experience in Galad and uh, all sorts of stuff for battles. It's pretty pretty standard. Um, so and now Lloyd is talking about what's on his arm. Ah, oh, that's right, the X sphere. Yeah, it's designed for combat and brings out my maximum strength. Without this thing, I'd be nothing. But you're still strong, Lloyd. Yeah, at least his sword skills are good. What do you mean, at least? There's another one. Let's go, you two. Wait, Lloyd. The professor said magic is more effective than physical attacks against non-physical and spiritual monsters. Really? Yes. Okay, then I'll leave the ghost to genius. I'll go for the zombie. So you can press R to switch um, your target. Since we're in battle, we're targeted onto the ghost, but if we press R, we will now be targeted onto the zombie. So, uh, we have arts in this game, and you press B uh, in a direction to do an art. You can press X to block, and you can jump back and up while you're blocking, and it's kind of useful. Um, but you want to do arts as much as possible in this game. I'm be cutting out a lot of battles because it gets kind of repetitive. But, um... Oh, I earned a title Tetra Slash. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that, I guess. It's important to choose the target wisely when there's a lot of monsters or if we're up against a dangerous one. It's especially important when we're saving an ally that's in trouble. We have to be careful. Let's go to the temple. Okay, so these first fights were really simple and there's really nothing to them. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and put that Tetra Slash thing on Lloyd because it gets him HP and strength uh, every time he levels up. I don't know how many points exactly, but I'll get into that tomorrow or the day after, whenever the next video goes up. Because this is it for this video, guys. Um, so this is our party. I'm going to leave it here every time I end the video so you can see what's going on. And um, it's been a pleasure for me to introduce you to, at least introduce you, to Tales of Symphonia. If you don't like it, you can stop watching, but I will continue this game all the way through. I'll be trying my best for a 100% run. There's still stuff we have to do in town, so next time... We'll do those, and then we'll go to the temple. This is Jeff Force Gemini 360, and I'll see you back in Tales of Symphonia the next time. Goodbye.